when they're in the larval stage, that's a stage is which they're a caterpillar. And the caterpillars need food all the time. All they do is eat and eat and eat all day. And that will be the way to develop that butterfly, which is the adult. The larvae need host plants, or plants that they can feed on. And depending on different species, each species of butterfly has a different host plant. So you'll want to plant those host plants in your garden along with the nectar plants, the plants that the adult butterfly will re will get its nectar from, will get its energy and all from the sweetness and all that's in that nectar. And uh, uh, with the host plants, to give you an example of some host plants for some butterflies that you'll find here in Nebraska, if you want to attract swallowtails, for example, the black swallowtail, you'll want to plant things like fennel or dill or parsley, carrot tops, Queen Anne's lace, anything that's in that carrot family, those black swallowtails will love. They'll go after that and you'll have caterpillars galore with those in your garden. If you're looking for monarchs, you want to plant any kind of a milkweed. You can go with a common milkweed or the swamp milkweed works very well and there's some other varieties of milkweed that really do well. As far as some of your other butterflies, like painted ladies, I would plant hollyhocks for that. And hollyhocks, you know, they're a great plant, kind of throwback to what grandma used to have in her garden. You put those hollyhocks out there, anything in that mallow family, really, that painted lady will go after. A lot of the host plants tend to be weedy species. That's one thing you have to watch out for in your garden. So what you'll want to do, you want to plant it in clumps and kind of have an area where you have host plants in one corner and maybe put some nectar plants someplace else. The other thing with those host plants is that they also attract predators. Now for the nectar plants, when you want to keep those butterflies around, anything that has bright blooms on it, preferably flowers that are maybe a large flower, Echinacea is one that attracts a lot of butterflies. Yarrow is another one that attracts them. Zinnias, we plant a lot of zinnias out in here. Uh, those are all nectar plants or a plant that has a flower that tends to have a deep throat to it. Very similar to what you would plant for hummingbirds. A lot of folks ask me, well, why should I plant a butterfly garden? Well, for one thing, it's a great addition to your garden overall because it attracts some of the most beautiful insects you're going to find. And if you're a bird watcher, you'll find that butterfly watching is just as much fun. And you can take pictures, you can have your kids and grandkids come to the backyard and try to catch a butterfly on their finger like we do here in the Butterfly Pavilion. The other thing is that you're providing habitat for that butterfly. You're trying to keep that species moving right along. For example, Monarch butterfly is probably the best known butterfly that we have here. The monarch butterfly, its habitat is starting to dwindle a bit. That we're having a lot more cropland, urbanization, that sort of thing. So by planting milkweed and, and planting that butterfly garden, you're providing a habitat for that monarch butterfly to continue on. If you have a butterfly garden, it ties in quite well with any backyard habitat. If you want to uh, bring those butterflies in there, you'll also bring in bees and uh, lots of other very interesting insects.